The iceberg that sank the Titanic was believed to have had a very unusual, elliptical shape. One of the most famous ships and shipwrecks in history is, without a doubt, that of the Titanic, officially designated RMS Titanic. The Titanic was the largest ship afloat at the time she entered service and was seen as a pinnacle of comfort and luxury. The ship set sail from Southampton and was supposed to arrive in New York City. The Titanic carried 2,240 people, among who were some of the wealthiest in the world. But it also carried emigrants from Great Britain and other parts of Europe. The Titanic is believed to have struck a massive iceberg that caused it to sink. Of the 2,240 passengers, more than 1,500 died. The Titanic's 20 lifeboats that were successfully launched held around 1,178 people. The iceberg that sank the Titanic. And while the Titanic sank more than 110 years ago, we continue to learn more about its fate. Analysis of available data has led experts to conclude that the iceberg that sank a ship that was deemed unsinkable formed out of snow that had fallen to Earth more than 100,000 years ago. The iceberg that sank the Titanic was believed to have had a very unusual, elliptical shape. With the help of computer modeling, researchers were able to figure out the origin of the iceberg. To do so, they used data obtained in 1912 and updated it with new information about wind and ocean currents. This allowed them to conclude that the iceberg was probably part of a small cluster of glaciers in southwest Greenland. New Data Today, scientists can even calculate the routes such icebergs would have traveled in the past. The infamous iceberg that sank the Titanic was traveling from Greenland towards an area south of Cornwall. If the Titanic had set sail only two days earlier, it would have crossed the Atlantic successfully since the iceberg would have moved far away by the time. The iceberg had an approximate weight of 1.5 million tons at the time the Titanic impacted it. Scientists estimate that by the time the collision took place, the iceberg was already melting at an accelerated pace. Nonetheless, it was still a massive piece of ice estimated to have been 400 feet long, and more than 100 feet of the surface was above the ocean. Check out this video below with new, incredible information about the iceberg that sealed the fat of the Titanic.